What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to target sellers or homeowners uh, using Facebook advertising. So uh, we're gonna dive right into the custom audiences, how to actually create an ad with that audience and what to say in that ad, right? So uh, basically what we're going to do, just a quick overview, what we wanna do um, is download expireds Right, so if you're familiar with real estate, you know that expireds are um, are big in cold calling as, as well as for sale by owner. Right, um, what we can do is go and grab property data on expireds and uh, FISBOs for sale by owners, upload that into Facebook, and target just those people instead of targeting everybody in a geolocation uh, around your area. We can target just expireds and FISBOs. Uh, smarter marketing so that we don't have to cold call them uh, but if you do cold call them and you have this you're much more likely to have a conversation with those folks so you're probably asking yourself where do you get that data well there are a few different options uh, the two best that I found here is Red X um, so you've got uh, the redx.com. You can come in here and get expired data. You can get FISBO data. You can go and get even pre foreclosure data um, and go and use those. Another one is Vulcan 7. Um, some of these have like auto dialers. So if you do want a cold call, you can use those. But you just go grab the uh, FISBO expired leads list and then you can upload that into Facebook. So once you, you have these, um, you can go into Facebook and uh, go in here and create a custom audience. So what they're going to give you is an Excel file or a CSV file, and you can come and upload those into uh, your Facebook account. So what you'll do is you'll go to audiences, so go to your Facebook ads manager or business manager, come in here, hover over all tools, and you'll come in under assets, you'll click on audiences here, and that's what I have pulled up here. So we'll use create an audience, We'll create a custom audience from that. And what we're gonna do here, we do have a file, right? So we're gonna use that file. And then what we're going to do is add customers from your own file. So we're gonna do that. And then here, uh, what you'll need is you'll, you'll want to either uh, download that CSV file or you can copy and paste that data. What I would do is just upload that file. So you'll come in here, upload the file, um, I think I have one in here somewhere. Uh, we can just use this one. So we'll upload that into uh, our file here. We'll call this, right, so we'll call this uh, expired. Uh, FISBO. Um, and then you can do like data, like this is Baltimore, right? So we can do that. Um, so then we just go from there. This all looks good. So what, what we want to do here, this is uh, from partners. So uh, you're basically get, getting this from a third party source. Yeah, so you would use that. We'll use next here. And then this is where you're going to, uh, to choose your stuff, right? So you would do a first name here with the first name, last name here. Um, you would go and choose the zip code. So that is not a phone number, that is a zip code. Usually they would have phone numbers. This, um, some of the data that you get, it, it doesn't um, format properly. So Facebook doesn't like that this is formatted. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna block these out. So um, what, what you should see here is like, you know, um, 512, dash 633 dash 8203 right so that would be uh, the correct formatting if you've got like the parentheses with the area code so like parentheses 512 parentheses uh, dash you know um, 633 dash 8203 that would be incorrect formatting but you want to add the phone number here um, so if they have email great most of those won't so you'll use first name last name uh, zip code, you can even go into state um, if you have it, uh, even city. So if you use those along with phone number, first name, last name, you should uh, have a pretty good idea of what those leads are going to be like. So you'll upload that. 
uh, so the hash will be uploaded. Um, we'll let that load. <clears throat> All right, so that is uploaded here. We can press done here. And then what we'll want to do is go to our ads manager and create our ad for this, right? So we'll click up here on the left, click on ads manager. I've already got that pulled up so we don't have to waste time. Then you'll click on create. And then what we're going to do is create a, a total Facebook ad for seller leads, right? So um, again, we I've covered this in depth on object, uh, excuse me, objectives of uh, Facebook advertising. For this, we're going to use lead generation or lead forms. So I would call this expired Fizbo lead form. Uh, it is the fifth. So we would use that. We we'll click on continue. In the ad set, this is where you would uh, use your this is where you would use your um, your your file that you just uploaded, right? So if you scroll down here, um, you're not going to use a catalog or anything like that. You're going to scroll down here and under custom audiences, you're going to come in here and find that Baltimore. So usually it would it would come up here, right? So you've got expired Fizbo. If it doesn't pop up here, then you'll go to custom audience, see if it pops up there, which it does. If it doesn't pop up there, sometimes you can just come in here and just type it in, and then you can choose that, right? So that is who we're targeting. What I would do from here is have um, wherever you're targeting, so like this would be Baltimore, right? So we would go Baltimore, Maryland. We would do and expand this radius a little bit, so you're making sure that you are... Um, including everybody here. And then I would actually go and layer some of this. So um, if you want, you can go and do bankruptcy. You can go and do uh, some of that. I would exclude National Association of Realtors. A lot of people don't recommend. Um, a lot of people would say that you should just use a custom audience and, and leave it at that. I would go in and layer it a little bit, right? So I would do National Association of Realtors. Exclusion, National Association, oh my goodness, of real estate brokers. And then you can come in here and do more exclusions based on real estate, job titles, mortgage, job titles, things of that nature. Um, you can come in here and do languages. Uh, for this, I wouldn't go too far in depth in the demographics, interests, and behaviors because you've already got those in your FISBO, right? I would choose people who live in this location, and then you've got a pretty good list, right? You've got people who are, uh, you know, they have expired or, or for sale by owner. They live in Maryland, and you're excluding all of the real estate related stuff. Come down here, click on continue. We don't really want to mess with this. I would, I would definitely do um, ten dollars per day. It depends on the audience size of your custom audience uh, that you've uploaded here. Usually for about every 10,000, you want to do a buck. So if you've got 100,000, you want to do about $10 per day. Uh, and then here we're going to scroll down click on continue. This would be the actual ad creative. So from here, what you can choose, um, you can do a few different things. You can target and, and, and um, talk directly to expireds and uh, FISBOs. Or you can just create a custom homes list for them because if they're selling, they're probably buying. Um, you can talk directly to them on seeing what their home value is like. There's a lot of things that you can do here. You can also talk directly to the FISBO expireds on uh, you know, the benefits of having a real estate agent as your client. So basically you would come in here and I would say uh, I would have a, a stat so like for FISBOs, I would have a stat that says, um, you know, people who sold their home for sale by owner uh, sold for 20% less than if they had a real estate agent, right? And then put that into perspective with the amount that they lost on that, right? So um, homes sold for, and I would put this in all caps, sale by owner. Um, sold for, you know, this is just made up data, so don't, don't use this unless it's true in your area. 
but you can go and, and find this stuff, right? So homes sold for sale by owner sold for 20% 20, 20 less than homes sold with a real realtor, real estate agent, whatever you are. That uh, if you use like your average home price, so um, let's just ballpark it at 300,000, right? So you could say, you know, homes sold uh, in Baltimore, that equals, you know, $20,000. Um, obviously that could, that could be, that could be more, that could be less. You're basically going to use, um, your, your data in your area, right? So that equals $20,000 in loss from your home sale. And then you would have a call to action, right? I would do, um, see, um, so you do like see uh, what your home value would be like, or see what, or like you could do a an instant from you uh, what you would price the home, right? So get a free price quote from a licensed real estate agent who has, and you can put your stats here, right? Who has sold you know, uh, 12 homes in the past six months for, and then your stats on what you sold them for, for above listing price or whatever it is, right? So you get the, you got the idea here, right? So, and then you would say tap learn more for your instant price quote. And you would obviously come in here, add a, a beautiful home. Uh, what most people do, uh, what most real estate agents do, is they would put a picture of themselves um, right here, right? Uh, which you don't want to do, right? You don't want to plaster uh, your face on your postcards or anything like that because all they see is a snake oil salesman when they see that, right? Um, so. It's all about your clients, it's all about your sellers, the homeowners, it's not about you. They don't really care about you and your face, they care about them and their situation. So don't make it about you, don't plaster your face on a photo. Uh, make it about them and, and their situation. Right, so it'd be something like that. Um, keep it super simple. Uh, so they're basically going to get a free price quote, uh, what you would list the home at, um, and then go from there, right? You wanna create a conversation with them. Um, you can you can go into lead form. So lead form, we would grab their name, email, phone number, and then on the thank you page, I would add a messenger bot so that we can grab more information from them and create a conversation from them. I will link below uh, a few of those um, on the Facebook Messenger side of things. Uh, later in the week, I'll, I'll show you a Facebook Messenger seller leads campaign that I run uh, that you can add to this if you so choose. Uh, if you guys have any questions on this, leave a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more real estate and mortgage related marketing content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so that you get notified when new videos are live. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.